unfortunately, Yume cannot beat Hero Cloud in bracket, Bobby. He doesn't know how. It confuses him. Rock, paper, scissors for the stage, I suppose. They're going, they're classic characters, Captain Falcon and Game & Watch. If you wanted to see more Game & Watch, boy, is this your day. We're going to Battlefield. I'm not sure who won that Rock, Paper, Scissors, I would imagine. It was Game 7A1. This is a pretty decent stage for both characters, though. And here we just have Sebastian going at it. Trying to rack up that damage. Yeah, this is a good stage for Game 71 because his down air does charge through that platform, uh, which people don't usually expect. But so far, we do have Seabass uh, with a percent lead of the stage control. But the problem is if he can keep it in the long run. Because even if Game 71 starts at a deficit, he's very good at making that up, especially with those uh, up smash baits and the very fast down tilt to make up for it. At 89%, 100%, the Game & Watch, being as very light as he is, definitely a kill percent. That back air almost killed already. Seabass could actually take this game at this rate. But then again, Game & Watch with Rage. A down throw up air, that could do it. But the Rage is gone, as a down B just cleans up that stock. Sends Game & Watch straight upwards. Best does keep falling for this down air trick just three times in a row. Really good recovery and tech, but as hard as he tried, he could make it back. Here we go back to an even game, but Seabass again with the early lead this stock. If he can repeat the first stock, he could just take this game. If Seabass were to take the set, that would be a very interesting upset. Oh, he could have gotten a punish, but he rolled away. Game 71, now with stage control, we've seen things swap. With the dash attack wiping the floor, it makes the places where Seabass can stand uh, much less, but the jab does catch him. With Seabass now in control of the stage, uh, he could try to go for an edge guard, but it would be very dangerous to Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon's recovery is much worse than Game 71. Uh, whiff F smash wasn't even close. Uh, gets him a punish. That downhill somehow hit. That doesn't make any sense. And both characters are clearly within kill percent. Seabass went for the same kill option. Gets punished for it. Doesn't quite die. And fast falls past the ledge. It's a very close game, but Seabass choked in the end. Mr. Game and Watch. Round two, same characters, new stage. Seabass has brought them to Smashville. Game and Watch just chilling under that jab. Game 71 knows how to uh, utilize the Game and Watch's aspects very well. That three sends him a bizarre angle. And what a mess. Game 71 gets that first stock incredibly quickly, but Seabass in a really bad situation. Seabass just falls for the same thing, gets baited super hard, and it's over in 32 seconds. Mr. Game and Watch. You cannot lose your patience against Game 7A1. You cannot